If a single nutrient could drop your fasting blood sugar in just eight weeks, would you start focusing on it today? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. And I'm Alara Sky. New evidence shows high dose vitamin D can lower fasting glucose by more than 5 milligrams per deciliter and ease insulin resistance in as little as two months, especially if your blood level sits below 20 nanograms per milliliter. Let's dig into how the sunshine vitamin protects beta cells, tames inflammation, and why deficiency may be the hidden trigger, keeping millions stuck in type 2 diabetes. The data come from 46 randomized controlled trials with over 4,300 adults. Half received vitamin D, half placebo. Doses above 2,000 IU, taken for 8 to 12 weeks, cut fasting sugar, hemoglobin A1C, and HOMAIR, which tracks insulin efficiency. The biggest wins belong to those who started deficient. That makes sense. Vitamin D binds directly to receptors on pancreatic beta cells safeguarding them so they keep releasing insulin smoothly instead of burning out. It also lowers parathyroid hormone. High PTH is linked to insulin resistance, so suppressing it helps glucose enter cells instead of lingering in blood. People often forget vitamin D's anti-inflammatory power. Chronic inflammation is a root driver of insulin resistance, kidney damage, and nerve pain in diabetes. By dialing inflammation down, vitamin D does double duty protecting tissues and easing metabolic strain. Let's get practical. The ideal serum range Dr. Mercola recommends is 60 to 80 nanograms per milliliter. Most study participants began below 20 nanograms per milliliter. If you're in that zone, high dose D can shift markers quickly, but pill bottles aren't the only route. Peak sun exposure is unbeatable when your diet is dialed in. Right? Direct midday sunlight on bare skin until it barely pinks will top up vitamin D naturally. Yet there's a catch. Seed oils. Diets high in linoleic acid make skin fats unstable. UV light then oxidizes those fats, causing DNA damage and sunburn. You need four to six months off seed oils before regular midday sun is safe. If you can't wait, or you live far from the equator... Opt for a vitamin D3 supplement with a fat-based meal, like one containing butter, tallow, or ghee. Capsules alone raise levels, but dietary fat boosts absorption. Supporting nutrients round out the approach. Magnesium is mandatory. It participates in hundreds of reactions, including insulin signaling. Many diabetics run low, and supplementation improves glucose handling. Alpha-lipoic acid offers nerve protection. Diabetic neuropathy often starts as tingling or burning in feet and hands. ALA calms oxidative stress and helps spare those nerves. Berberine lowers blood sugar, triglycerides, and hemoglobin A1C. Some compare its glucose effect to metformin, but here we're talking lifestyle support. No prescription required. Benfodiamine, a special form of vitamin B1, shields nerves and small blood vessels from high glucose damage. Pairing it with D covers metabolic control and end organ protection. Cinnamon extract belongs on that list, too. Multiple trials confirm it drops fasting sugar and improves insulin sensitivity in type 2 diabetes and even prediabetes. Back to sunlight. If you're still clearing seed oils, stick to morning or late afternoon rays. Meanwhile, a daily 12 milligram astaxanthin capsule mops up free radicals Niacinamide cream on exposed skin reduces UV DNA breaks, and one baby aspirin hampers harmful oxidized linoleic acid metabolites. Once seed oil intake is low for six months, consider adding raw, grass-fed dairy for C150. Two grams daily let keratinocytes swap linoleic acid for this stable fat, accelerating LA removal from skin by 25% to 30% each quarter. After a year of steady intake, Skin LA drops about 80%, and full-strength midday sun becomes an asset, not a risk. A quick note on dosage. Because vitamin D is fat-soluble, check levels twice a year. If you supplement heavily without testing, you risk overshooting. But the meta-analysis shows improvements arrived fast and safely when baseline deficiency was documented. Some listeners ask, 
Can I fix insulin resistance with D alone? It's foundational, but maximal benefit comes when you combine it with seed oil elimination, strategic sun exposure, and the supportive nutrients we mentioned, magnesium, alpha-lipoic acid, berberine, benfodiamine, and cinnamon. Others wonder about timing. Studies found the most striking drops in glucose within 12 weeks. So, retest then. If fasting sugar hasn't budged and your D-level remains under 60 nanograms per milliliter, work with a practitioner to adjust the dose. Let's clarify food sources. Salmon, sardines, egg yolks, beef liver, and mushrooms provide modest vitamin D. They help, but sunlight or supplementation does the heavy lifting if you're deficient. And keep moving. Moderate exercise sensitizes muscles to insulin, complementing the biochemical gains from vitamin D. Even a brisk 20-minute walk after meals can cut post-meal glucose spikes. Before we wrap, let's review action steps. Get a vitamin D blood test. Aim for 60 to 80 nanograms per milliliter. If below 20 nanograms per milliliter, consider 2,000 international units or more of D3 with a fat-based meal, Eliminate seed oils to make sun safe, add magnesium, ALA, berberine, benfodiamine, and cinnamon as needed, and retest in three months. Your challenge. Tomorrow, spend five minutes outside during peak sun with forearms and lower legs exposed, if you've been off seed oils six months. If not, start removing seed oils today and schedule a vitamin D test this week. Simple moves, powerful payoffs. When you manage vitamin D correctly, you give your pancreas room to breathe, your nerves a break from sugar overload, and your cells the signal that it's time to restore balance. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.